Today's video is what I consider philatelic fun. Every philatelist, whether beginner or a true veteran, dreams of finding that treasure that everyone else has missed. We all want to find a valuable stamp somewhere, sometime. We're all hunters of stamps, that is. Which brings me to my story. Several weeks ago, I received an email from a friend and she was having difficulty finding a U.S. stamp while she was using Easy Stamp. So she sent me a scan of what she could not find. Here's the scan uh, she sent me. My initial reaction was, wow, what a find. Upon arm's length inspection, inspection, I was just utterly amazed. It's not mentioned in any catalog, be it Scott, Gibbons, or Mickle, or anything else I have in my reference book collection. So I became a little suspicious. I thought to myself, how can such an obvious inverted error of one of the most sought one of the most sought after by most collectors not be listed anywhere? So I asked my friend if she could send me a better scan, which she did. So here's the scan that she initially sent me, and here's the scan that she sent me the second time. And when you look at this, you go, "Wow, it's this is just simply amazing." I mean, it it looks it looks incredible. Again, upon initial inspection, I was thinking, what a find. Then I got my tools out and got to the bottom of it. I loaded this into Easy Image, which we're looking at now, and zoomed in on the area of interest, and it looks suspicious around the frame of each person, person especially Washington. So I'll zoom in here. And I just notice what looks like a little bit of doubling here. So I thought, hmm. Since I've been collecting errors and forgeries for many, many years, I asked my friend to send me the stamps for closer inspection. When the stamp arrived, it was plainly obvious to me what this really was. I rescanned the stamp at uh, 600 and then 1200 DPI. Here's the scan at 600 DPI. Now if you look really closely here, you can see what appears to be almost like a second frame line and part of the other design, this cross hatching in the background. And let me show it to you at 1200 DPI. So if you look here, you can actually see what's truly going on. Someone, either just having some philatelic fun or possibly for more nefarious purposes, had cut out the centers from another stamp and glued them to the stamp in question. Most collectors would not be fooled if they had the stamps in hand, but having just an image, it makes it look very real. Once I informed my friend of the real story here, she said I could keep the quote rarity for my collection which I now have housed in my forgeries album alongside the Fournier, Sparati, and Oneglia forgeries I have acquired over the years. This one will be labeled Forgery by Unknown. Moral of the story, be cautious and always inspect the stamp firsthand. Happy hunting everyone.